Hey guys, it's Kevin, and welcome to another uh, quick behind-the-scenes video of one of my uh, pieces of art that I've created. Uh, this image right here I created this weekend. Uh, we're getting closer to the Christmas season, so I thought it'd be fun to do just a fun little uh, project with my daughter here. And uh, you see all of these candy canes everywhere, and uh, my daughter is here painting them one at a time, and it looks like she has a lot of work to do. So what I wanted to do is just show you today how I created this image. This is the final image. Uh, that I've got. So I just want to kind of show you the uh, the creative process here. This is the image that we started off with. This is just a picture of our um, uh, dining room where we uh, eat dinner at. We just cleaned off the table. I got some lights uh, over to her left and to her right um, that were going to be shining on her. Really, the whole point of that was just to make it more interesting rather than just an overhead light. Um, and so I just got these extra lights in here, and then I started to uh, clean the image up and uh, make sure I got rid of uh, everything on the scene that didn't need to be there. So first of all, those lights, they need to go. The way I did that was I took a picture without the lights in there, and so I've got a picture of the background uh, without my daughter, without the lights, without any of that stuff in there. And uh, that really helps when you blend the images together. You can get rid of those. And then obviously this little paint uh, can here and this little hairbrush and this little piece of trash, I was able to just get rid of all of those. And this is the image uh, that I started working on um, for the editing. And then what I needed to do uh, to get all of these candy canes everywhere, I needed, I couldn't do that in Photoshop and I certainly didn't have um, a thousand uh, candy canes at our house. And so that was not a real image, of course. We had to go to uh, Cinema 4D uh, to design one of those. So I want to show you real quick how to design a candy cane in uh, Cinema 4D. Very simple. And actually, we're just going to be doing a, uh, a plain white one, which makes it even easier. Uh, but it's pretty simple to do. Uh, you're just going to uh, go to your cylinder image right here. You're going to make a nice little shape here. And uh, we're going to change it. I don't remember the exact um, dimensions here, but we'll say 5 by like 100. It probably needs to be longer than that. Maybe like one, uh, probably 200 might be okay. Okay, we'll call it four by 200 centimeters, uh, which is, you know, that's that's a pretty large candy cane, but we'll scale it down later. All right, so the, the next thing we want to do, now that we have our cylinder, we need to make it bend at the top. And the easiest way to do that is to do a bend deformer. So just go uh, to your bend deformer, make sure it's on your cylinder. And then you just want to make sure you click fit to parent. And now we have uh, the capability of bending the cylinder. So if I were to change my strength up like this, you can see it's starting to curve um, it's starting to curve the candy cane like that. However, we don't want it to curve all of it. We just want it to curve the top part of it. And so what we want to do is we want to go to our bend deformer and uh, we want to make sure that we bring this bend deformer up like this. That way the bottom part of our cylinder is not being affected and only the top part is. So we get to about right in there and then we want to continue to increase our strength, something like that. Now, that doesn't look like a very smooth candy cane. It's very jagged, very um, sharp, and that's because we don't have enough uh, uh, segments or um, subdivisions in our candy cane. So if we go to our line mode, for example, oops, right there, you can see we don't have a lot of segments here to bend. So all we have to do is just start adding segments there um, until it's nice and round. So I don't know how many I need to add, maybe maybe like 30 or something. Um, and now you have a nice curved um, cylinder here that's that's nice and round here at the top. Now you can always you know take your bend deformer and uh, you can uh, move it up and down, you know, however you need to move it. You can do just a little bit of candy cane like that. Um, or you can move it in like this. It really depends on what you want to, to make it look like. Um, and then that's pretty much it. That's how you, uh, that's how you um, add that uh, candy cane uh, curve to the top. And then I would probably put it in a subdivision surface as well and just bring that in. And that's just really going to smooth uh, those tips right there. You can see how the, the tips of the uh, candy cane are nice and smooth. And so that's... Um, a really easy way to do that. So now that I've made my candy cane, um, I can go ahead and bring this in to a uh, project. So I've got my project open here. Um, and so what I've done is I've got my little candy cane here. You can see my candy cane. Let me zoom out. 
Um, I've got a couple lights, and this is just kind of mimicking uh, the lights in the scene. I had an overhead light, I had a window light, and then I had a yellow and a blue light as well. And so that's my scene right there. And then I um, added a picture of the background to my workspace. So here's a picture of the background that I took earlier, uh, just for reference. And so that way I can move the um, the floor here. I can move it to where I need to move it. I actually put a plane on there. So now I have this nice, nice little um, uh makeshift table here where we have this plane that uh, the candy canes are going to fall onto. So I just made sure I lined those up pretty well and uh, make sure that uh, it looks like it's at about the right size. Um, after I did that, I made the uh, the plane invisible because I don't want to see the plane. So I just made the plane invisible. And now I can have the candy canes drop directly onto the um, this surface here. So if I hit play right now, you see that candy cane right there. It just kind of falls down to the ground and you see it just kind of clanking around there. Um, and so that's fine. That's just one little candy cane clanking on the ground, uh, but we need more of them. We need a lot of them. So I put it into a cloner and then I just started uh, adding more and more clones. And so for example, this would be uh, two by two by two. That's that's quite a few, but that's you know we still need more than that. Eventually, I got all the way up to like twenty by seven by ten, I believe. That's a lot of candy canes. Um, and so now I have all of these candy canes, and then I just hit the play button, and then uh, it's going to take a little bit longer because my computer is processing it. But you see them all fall down, and they're just kind of uh, you know gathering here um, on this little makeshift table. Probably need to zoom out a little bit. And uh, now we have all of these, we have all of these candy canes everywhere. They're just all over the place. And uh, that is just a, a crazy amount of candy canes. Um, then what I did later is I put a, um, I, I put a um, white uh, surface on them, a very reflective surface. And you can kind of see, let me show you the render view real quick, what that looks like. And so without the background um, image, this is what it's going to be uh, rendered as. Um, you're going to see a bunch of uh, candy canes right here. They're just white. You know, there's there's no stripes on them because, you know, we're going to be painting them on there. Uh, but there's there's our candy canes that are going to be rendered. This is just one, you know, I just dropped them onto the ground. Later, I would kind of uh, finesse it where I had a little opening where um, her hands are at. Um, and then that would be, you know, symbolic of, you know, her workspace here. So once I had that, I made sure... Um, had everything that I wanted there. I just exported that uh, to Photoshop. And then I've got this uh, picture right here of our candy canes. Uh, this was the final uh, kind of render that I liked um, of the candy cane. So I've got those in there. And um, what I did was I add a little bit of blur to it. I could have done that in Cinema 4D, but I decided just to do it in Photoshop. So I just added just a little bit of blur uh, to the very front of the uh, candy canes just to give it a little bit of depth of field there. And then um, I also added some other candy canes. Um, I didn't show you how I did that, but I added some other candy canes with stripes on them and I put them right here beside her to look like she's actually got some work done. You know, she's actually been working on it a little bit. Um, and then, um, so you have the red ones here and then you have all the white ones everywhere else. I added some shadows underneath them. So it just looks like they're um, interacting with the table a little bit. And uh, then I started working on the background. So um, I wanted to make the background a little bit blurrier. You can see in the background, there's actually, there's a picture of me. You see me in the background right here uh, in the mirror of this uh, china cabinet. And so I didn't want me to be in there. So I tried to edit myself out as much as I could. Um, and I did all right. I, I kind of masked myself out there, but I still wanted to make the background a little bit blurrier. So I, I cut out uh, the model here. I cut her out and then blurred the background just a little bit. You can see that's not a lot of blur. It's just a little bit of Gaussian blur uh, behind her just to make it less um, distracting in the background. And then everything else I think was just, you know, just fine tuning the colors, um, made the candy cane white, and uh, just really a lot of color grading involved in here. Um, and so it was really pretty, it was pretty much of a, a simple type of uh, edit. Just take a picture of my daughter at the table and then edit the uh, candy canes in Cinema 4D and then just make sure that you clone out a bunch of them. And uh, that's pretty much all that it required to do this picture. So this is the final uh, result. This is the color grade I went after. I wanted to make sure her, uh, this front part of her was nice and colorful and vibrant and the rest of it was kind of uh, 
dull and, and colorless. That's kind of the, what I was going for there. Uh, but I've could I could have done you know any type of uh, color grade I wanted to. Just that's the one I landed on. Uh, but guys, that's how I made this image. Um, just a really fun project. Really fun to do in Photoshop and, and in Cinema 4D as well. Hope that you enjoyed this little uh, behind the scenes look of how I made this one. It was really fun and I uh, can't wait for the next project as I'm starting to learn more about Cinema 4D and how to uh, create 3D, 3D objects. Uh, I'm looking forward to what is uh, going to be created next. But guys, that's all I got for today. Hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And I will see you again at the next video. Thanks, guys.